Okay, uh, Carrie, Dave, this is your house. I'm going to take a video of the interior wall. So at any point in time, if you decide you want to run things through the walls, you'll know what everything looks like. This is the foyer. I'll turn it this way. So this is your foyer as you enter. And I'm waiting for the um, inspector to get here so that... Um, we can walk through this uh, this house as well. Let's see what they've done over here. Looks like a little hollow spot in there. You can put anything you want in there. Shows you where the electric is run, how it's run. This is sheeted wall here. Uh, and then this is the wall that comes against your kitchen that you'll be looking into your kitchen. This is the opposite wall and then let's go into your laundry room this is the entrance to your laundry room and going right out into the garage so there are all your wires going up for your communication system right there you've got a couple of outlets down below this is what your um, what is this the laundry room area looks like there's your dryer dropped in there you can see they use a Teflon uh, line for hot and cold as opposed to copper line. Pulls up a lot better. That's your bathroom on the opposite side. Let's walk in here and take a look at your kitchen. This is where your refrigerator is going to be on this side. And you can see they have your refrigerator and your lines run in. There's an outlet, another outlet, another outlet. A couple more here. That's for your stove. And this is a um, airline going up for plumbing. That's where your microwave is going to scoot out of. And on this side, this is where your kitchen sink is going to be on your island. And that uh, white Teflon line runs right over to uh, right there to feed your refrigerator. You can see the lines going through the walls here. And this looks like a heavy duty construct uh, electrical line going straight up, probably for the AC. On this side, inside the pantry, this is your condensation line for your AC units. You can see them going up. And they follow along the side. That looks like a gas line there. So let's go take a look at the rest of the walls. You can see what's inside this wall. Here's a, looks like a plumbing line going straight up. It is a plumbing line going straight up over here. So you've got one line on the outside, hose, hose bib. You can see the electrical lines running through it. Here's your light switches. And on this wall, so if you ever have to drop any lines in this wall, those are two feet on center. Uh, it doesn't look like this is a bearing wall. I'm certainly hoping it's not a bearing wall. But if you can get up into that attic space, there's a little room to move around. All you have to do is drill a hole straight through there, and you could drop whatever lines you want. But just be advised that your exterior walls are 16 on center. Looks like your interior walls are going to be a little bit bigger. Actually, those look like they're 16 on center. These look like they're 24 inches on center. So you've got an outlet over here. You can see where that's run. This is your family room that we're in right now. And then we're going back into the master bedroom. As you enter the master bedroom, you can see there's your switch. And so your main lines are coming down, feeding down over here. Hit your switch. You get one outlet. It looks like this outlet is also feeding the back part too. No, maybe not. No, it isn't. This is a looks like this is a gas line going to the outside for a barbecue grill or something like that. This is the, um, the toilet on the on the opposite side of the wall. For your 
bathroom. That's your toilet. Pardon me. This is your toilet in here. This has got to be your sinks. These are your sinks. So you can see where the lines are running up the wall. This is your shower and tub. Shower. And this is your um, closet. Here's your switch. Here's your lights. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. This is one of your other bedrooms. This is a sheared wall on one side. You have one outlet there. Two outlets. You can see how they run through the walls. And a closet. I'm just going to walk straight through this wall here. Another bedroom. Has a closet here. See your outlets. How they've run them. This looks like a communication line. And they've plugged all the holes you'll see up there every time they go through. So the bugs or anything that may be in there won't come through. So they've done a nice job with that. <clears throat> and then you have another room back over here. <clears throat> These look like condensation lines that are running out. Your water heater <clears throat> is right here on the opposite side that shows out. It'll go from the garage. You'll see it. This will all be blocked off. <clears throat> but you can see the gas line coming down here that's pressurized. And that's where your hot water heater is going to be stored on this mount. And then these drain lines will come out and drop straight through here so you can see where they're going to go and they're going to drop outside. So, looks like you got a lot of space up in the center over here. It kind of diminishes back as, as it goes. But that's about it. That's, um, you can see the blocks and the walls. Hopefully that will give you a perspective. If you save this video and you ever want to get into the house and start tearing something up, you'll know what the walls look like from the inside. That right there is your access point. It's in your laundry room. And you can see above it they have a platform. And that platform is what they use for the roof. You can see the, the foil insulation on the roof. That's actually the... Um, the main structure of the uh, of the foundation of the roof. They just had it coated with that um, that foil. It's good. It's a good reflector for for heat. But there's there's enough room for you to get in up and around. So if you had to drop lines down, uh, you know, for speakers or something, you'll be able to do it. The only problem is the outside walls will have full insulation in them, and so if you wanted let's say speakers or something on this wall, this would be very difficult to do. This is all going to be filled with insulation here. So anything drilled through there, you'd be very difficult to get to, and you wouldn't be able to get down. But any of the inside walls, you have no problem with at all. Let's take one quick look at the kitchen. Not the kitchen, the garage. And that should just about do it. And as soon as the inspector gets here, I'll go over and we'll see if anything else was changed. Okay, and that's your AC unit. The blower has been installed. You can see it way up in there. And that should do it. That's where your hot water heater is going to go, right in here. Okay, and that's you. We'll get this to you as soon as the uh, inspector and I go through the, the uh, plants. Talk to you later.